and it is set to auto record to the cloud. So I already have that. So you're good to go. I'm going to share my screen. Oh, we do have an interview. Good. All right, welcome to our webinar this evening. This is for our virtual only um, students. It's sort of our virtual only student orientation. Um, my name is Megan Pomfret. I'm the Director of School Counseling at Gainesville. And we also have Mr. Nemero here who's going to be um, working questions in the Q&A. So if you do have questions, you can submit, that, submit them Excuse me, through the Q&A function. Um, and then I will do a section at the end where I can just answer questions as they come up. All right, so today we're going to talk a little bit about virtual Virginia. We're going to talk about success in virtual learning. We're going to talk about um, your access to Gainesville High School as a virtual only student, some resources that are still available to you, and then I will answer some questions. I anticipate tonight taking about 20 minutes or so, depending on questions. So as you're seeing abbreviations for things like VO and VBA, VO is just um, virtual only. So these are our students, our Prince William County students have opted to stay virtual for next school year. And um, virtual, our VO students will be using Virtual Virginia or VVA. Um, it is a well-established online program in the state that Prince William County has opted to service our high school students that are staying virtual um, this school year. Um, I emailed Virtual Virginia account login information on July 21st and then this weekend. I sent information to your student's Prince William County email address and um, to the email address that we had on file. Virtual Virginia is going to have their own parent student orientation on August 19th. Um, in the emails that I've sent on the 21st and August 14th and Virtual Virginia sent their own email, there is a link to their parent student orientation. So please make sure that you're checking your email for that information. Um, all I have is the link that I've included to you all, but Virtual Virginia also sent that information out. A Gainesville High School teacher will serve as a mentor for virtual only students. And you can anticipate hearing from your student's mentor by August 27th. Um, the job of the mentor is to check in on students, to monitor progress, and to communicate with Gainesville High School administrators and counselors any student needs that you may have. You will still have your school counselor, you will have your virtual Virginia uh, teachers, but your mentor serves as another conduit and another um, a conduit for information and a support for your students. So student success in virtual learning, um, this is gonna look different than what we did last year. It is not concurrent learning. Well, you will have um, your computer up and your teachers in there in Zoom. You will be utilizing Canvas, which is great because we are familiar with that. And there will be some synchronous learning, um, but most of it is going to be um, asynchronous. So it's very, very important that our students are self-motivated and self-disciplined. So any sessions that are required through Virtual Virginia, it is critical that your student attends these sessions. It's important that we follow the rules of Virtual Virginia. And a lot of times they're gonna ask that cameras are turned on. You do have Zoom backgrounds that will enable you to blur the background or you can use Prince William County backgrounds if privacy is a concern. So there are ways to protect privacy by but continuing to have your camera on. That engagement is important for students and teachers. It's also important that your student is participating in group discussions, whether it's through a Canvas discussion board or if there is a live sec uh, session where your virtual Virginia teacher is working with your students. But that motivation and self-discipline is gonna be really important because there may be some times where you have an assignment for a class that is assigned on Monday, but your teacher isn't gonna be looking for it till Thursday. You don't have classes that you're reporting to. So it's important that you set schedules for yourself and that you maintain those schedules. Another element that will help our virtual only students is to be successful in virtual Virginia is to ask for help. And I've listed down here some of the team members, um, your students team members. So obviously the virtual Virginia mentor, um, who again is a Gainesville High School teacher who you will hear from by August 27th. Your student school counselor, and I'll post the school counselor's names in just a moment. 
your virtual Virginia teacher, and then our parents and guardians. Those are critical parts of the team help. So it's very, excuse me, your student's team. So it's very important that families and students are communicating with anybody on this team if support is needed. And support could be things like um, access to the internet, um, understanding how to use Canvas, um, it could be not understanding an assignment. So the teacher is always going to be your first point of reference when it comes to questions about the class. But if you need thing, help with the logistical pieces, you do have access to support at Gainesville High School. Um, communicating effectively, you're going to be doing a lot of written communication, just the way that this is going to work through virtual learning. So learning to be clear in your communication, ensuring that your emails have um, a subject line that is very clear what questions you're asking for. Um, if you're speaking with your teacher that you're communicating effectively, and part of that is having your camera on so that your teacher can engage with you, that can make it easier for student, or your teachers, excuse me, to see your facial expressions, to kind of gauge if you're understanding. If we have our cameras turned off, it can make it difficult for our, our teachers and supports to, to really understand what's going on. Um, another element for student success in virtual learning is to meet the deadlines and requirements of the classes that you are taking. Because this program is through Virtual Virginia, some of the policies that Prince William County students are used to may not be in effect for Virtual Virginia. So for example, extended deadlines beyond um, a certain period of time. And this does not mean for students with an IEP, those things will be taken into consideration by virtual Virginia teachers, but sort of this retake policy things that were that have been kind of come into common practice in Prince William County. I cannot guarantee that those things will be done in virtual Virginia. So meeting your deadlines and requirements are going to be critical. Um, purchasing an agenda from you know Target right now or Walmart, they've got tons of agendas that you can purchase from. Really get into the good habit of utilizing your calendar. Having regular access to connectivity and to a computer is going to be important. So Mr. Namoro, who is helping us here in the Q&A, um, is our ITC at, at Gainesville High School, and he can be a support if questions were to come up with, with technology. Um, so maybe some things in Canvas, you're having a hard time uploading a document, uh, Mr. Namoro would be a great resource. If you need help with an actual device, a Prince William County device, which all virtual only students are allowed to have, we did have pickup today. Um, if you did not pick up a device, there was information sent out about it a couple of last week and then um, over the weekend as well. You can reach out to Mr. Holly, whose email I have included there um, to feel free. You can reach out to him to get a device if you need it. If your family requires a hotspot, uh, Mr. Holly can also be a support for you as well. So these are our Gainesville High School school counselors. Um, you will notice here, um, which I'm circling with kind of the blue dot, if your student's last name falls in this range, um, then uh, for, for example, A to COM, Ms. Tiffany Hope, and here's Ms. Hope's email. These are our school counselors. So for example, if your last name is Smith, you're, um, you would fall in this range here, and Ms. Epps would be your school counselor, um, and here's your e and her, her email, excuse me. You can anticipate hearing from your school counselors at least monthly you will be able to schedule appointments through bookings after the first week of school with your school counselor. And that is gonna be on the Gainesville High School website. It's not on there right now because we're not taking appointments until um, at the earliest will be the second week of school. But anytime that you need support from your school counselor, you can reach out through bookings and we can set up a Zoom appointment so that you can meet with your school counselor. Even though you're a virtual only student, you are a cardinal and it is your time to fly. And, and this phrase, our time to fly, is the catchphrase that Gainesville is utilizing for our students. Um, and it's important that you feel connected to Gainesville High School. You are a cardinal. And if you picked up your devices today, we had some t-shirts and some masks for our cardinal. So if you didn't do that, please let us know so that we can get you a t-shirt. Um, but it is critical that you feel like you belong to Gainesville High School because you do. So access to Gainesville High School, things that you can do um, to utilize any supports that we have. We have devices, there was pickup today. If you did not pick up a device today and you need one, if you have your own computer, that's totally fine. But if you need a Prince William County device, you can reach out to your school counselor or to Mr. Holly and we can work out a time for you to pick it up. Your, the mentor, again, is a Gainesville High School teacher, and they will serve as a liaison between you and Gainesville High School and also through Virtual Virginia. 
We will be posting our counseling lessons on Canvas throughout the school year. Um, so once we get up and running, we'll get all of our students added to the Gainesville High School Canvas page and you'll be able to access any counseling lessons like we would do normally in the classroom, you will have access in Canvas. As I mentioned before, you will be able to book an appointment with your school counselor through bookings, which is kind of an online form that you would utilize on the Gainesville High School website. Um, and you can set up an appointment if you wanna talk about college or if you want to do um, some career exploration or you need help with organization, you can set up a meeting with your school counselor. Um, virtual only students are allowed to participate in athletics and other student activities if you're eligible, right? So if you meet the grade requirements for the VHSL for athletics, you are still allowed to participate. Um, special education services are determined by the IEP team. So if your child has an IEP, they'll be hearing from Mr. Treadwell, our department chair for special education. And I have his email on the next slide um, to determine what services will look like in the virtual environment. Our English learner services um, are determined by the family and the Gainesville High School EL staff. And there is a program um, whose name escapes me right now. I'm sorry, I believe it's called Proximity. We'll be working with our English learners to support them in the virtual environment. And Ms. Kelly Kirkendall is our English learner um, department chair and her email is also on the next slide. Any assessments, and this is, this is important to note, but any assessments that virtual Virginia students take this includes SOLs or AP exams or other assessments um, may require being taken in person in Gainesville High School. Um, I'm not, it'll depend on the class, how many assessments there are. For example, AP tests, you gotta take those in the building, um, but we can work with your student and we will coordinate those assessments as need be. Um, your student will be able to work with their virtual Virginia mentor, who again is a Gainesville High School teacher to set up any assessments to schedule times if there needs to be assessments taken with someone in person. Um, there will be a weekly meal pickup for virtual only students. Um, we don't have it, all the full information on the, that yet, but essentially from what we understand is you'll be able to sign up for meal pickup for breakfast and for lunch on a weekly basis. And Gainesville High School is gonna be a pickup for that. Um, but the more information we get, as soon as we have something, we will push it out to you all. On this slide, um, we do have some of our Gainesville High School staff. All of this information is on the Gainesville High School webpage. Um, if your child um, receives uh, special education services, there's uh, Mr. Treadwell's information, his email address. Um, Ms. Kelly Kirkendall is our English Learner Department Chair, and there's her email. And then we have our full admin team, all of their names and email addresses. Um, Mr. Beach is our principal. Mr. Washington um, is an administrator who's, who works with students of the last name A through H-E-R. Um, so there's Mr. Washington's email. Ms. Isabella Yearwood is our admin intern, and she serves students H-E-S through M-E-R, and there's her email. Mr. Andrew Barton serves students M-E-S through Z, and his email is there. So those are our three assistant principals. Uh, Mr. Jason, Jason Eldridge is our Director of Student Activities. There's his email. Dr. Robert Scott is our Specialty Program Coordinator, see who works specifically with the Pathways Program. He also works with students taking AP exams um, and any gifted services. And there is his email. And then I am Megan Pomfret. I'm the Director of School Counseling and my email address is right there. All right, so questions that you may have. I'm gonna stop sharing my screen so I can look in the Q&A, see if we've had any questions. I'm not seeing any questions, but if you have any at the bottom of your, uh, the bottom of your screen, you'll see a Q&A um, function. You can submit any questions that you may have. I'd be happy to answer anything. If there's anything that you would like me to go over again, feel free to put that in the q and I'd be happy to answer that. Or if you want me to put one of the slides up again, if you maybe, if I went a little bit too fast. Doesn't look like we have any questions. 
Um, again, my name is, oh, there we go. Um, so I have a question in the q and I'm going to answer it live. Will, will virtual Virginia students receive incentives benefits like in-person students, um, including tickets to the first home game? Um, yeah, absolutely. If you have an interest, I'm not sure people's comfort level with attending in-person events, um, but if that's something that you would like, please reach out to your school counselor. Um, and again, school counselors caseloads are on the Gainesville High School website. Uh, but reach out to your school counselor and we can work to help you get tickets to the first home game. Good question. Okay, the next question is, will it still be on Zoom or is it more independent? Great question. There will be times that you'll be able to meet with your virtual Virginia instructors through Zoom, um, but there will be a lot more independence. So you will, this is where that discipline and that motivation really comes into play. Um, so it's important um, to have a calendar, wh whether it's on your phone or if you use a paper calendar. I'm old, so I prefer a paper calendar. Um, but you could use your phone if that's what's best for you. Um, so you will have the ability to develop those independent skills. Um, but there will be times where, you know, you'll go back and watch a video from your teacher. Um, with your Gainesville High School mentor, I was meeting with them today and they were talking about maybe, I don't know that all of them will do this, but they might have some um, office hours where you can step in and talk to them. Like they'll just be available in Zoom and you can pop in and ask questions about the program. It won't be course specific, but it would be program specific. Or if you need help, your virtual Virginia mentor can help you. Um, one thing that I failed to mention, um, which thank you for kind of jogging my memory a little bit here. Um, there are, most of your textbooks are going to be provided through the virtual Virginia course. So the vast majority are gonna be in the Canvas programs um, or the Canvas accounts, the Canvas um, classes that you have, but there are some that you might need to get in person. We are working on that right now. And if there are, for example, like some of the English classes require that you read a certain book, like um, Great Gatsby or Lord of the Flies or whatever, um, we're working to get those textbooks for you and um, your Gainesville High School mentor or your school counselor will reach out um, if you need support getting those textbooks. What other questions do you all have? Okay. You have our information on the webpage. Um, I'm Mr. Nemero, I'm gonna to ask to, he's recorded this webinar and I'm gonna send the link out once it's been uploaded to YouTube, I'm gonna send the link out to all of our virtual only families so that you have access to this if you wanna go back and watch it again. Or if you just want the presentation, you can email me or actually what I can do is when I email out the link to the video, I'll just add my presentation to it for you all. Give me a couple of days for that. Um, but I think that's it for now. So please stay in contact with Gainesville. Um, please ask questions if you need help. Um, please don't be shy about saying what you need. It's important that you still feel connected to our school. And um, we hope that you have a good experience with Virtual Virginia. Please attend their student parent orientation to, um, on the 19th. That's gonna be very helpful for you to understand the Virtual Virginia program. So unless if there's any other questions, um, I think we're gonna, oh, Okay, when are you going to get your schedule? So um, the schedule, the virtual Virginia classes, when you log into your virtual Virginia account, which again, you receive that account login information um, over the weekend and then towards the end of July, you'll be able to see your, um, the classes for which um, you have been registered for. So if you go right now into your virtual Virginia account, you'll be able to see the classes and some teachers have even started sending messages. I've seen a couple have come through, but you won't have a specific schedule like a Gainesville High School student who's like coming to orientation tomorrow that's gonna to be walking through Gainesville High School. All of your scheduling and classes will be in that virtual Virginia account. Oh, okay. Also, virtual Virginia courses start on August 24th. How will our first day of school look like on August 23rd? So virtual Virginia, these courses, their semester starts on August 24th. 
Um, so on the 23rd, my recommendation is you need to be logging into your virtual Virginia account. Again, some of your teachers have already started posting messages. You need to get comfortable in that system. Um, when you go to the orientation, because we're all going to go to the orientation on August 19th that Virtual Virginia is offering, um, I want you to really sit down and get comfortable with the Virtual Virginia platform so you understand where everything is and you know how to reach out to get help if you need it. So you're the August 23rd, I want you getting up like it's a normal school day. I encourage you to... Um, to follow a normal schedule like you would. And I'm not telling you, you gotta be up at 7.15, um, but continue to be on a schedule so that you, when you do come back to school, it's not such a shock to the system. If you're sleeping all day um, and then you're only working at night, that's not good for your brain or your body. And it's gonna be hard for you to learn. So develop a schedule and stick to it as the best that you can. Um, next question. Uh, if virtual Virginia students, okay, so the orientation that's happening um, on the 18th is for our ninth graders and for the um, so the 18th is for our ninth graders, the 19th is for 10th and 11th graders. They're actually gonna be watching, walking their Gainesville High School schedule. Um, my recommendation is if you wanna see the building, if it is safe for your family, if you feel comfortable, um, you know, being in a public setting like that, we are having an open house the night of August 19th. And now I know that they sent out a sign up genius and, and some of the slots got picked up really quick. They've added more. So continue to watch those slots. Um, but the orientation might not be the best place. It might be best to come to the open house the evening of August 19th. No, okay, so the next question is, do you get a Gainesville schedule? No, you don't get like a, a block one through seven schedule because you're not taking your classes in person in Gaines, at Gainesville High School. So I, we haven't built a schedule for you at Gainesville High School because you're gonna be doing your learning through virtual Virginia. If you were to look um, at your schedule, you might, or excuse me, not your schedule, but in student and parent view next week, you're gonna see your virtual Virginia classes listed. But that doesn't mean that you have a schedule necessarily at Gainesville High School. I know this is kind of confusing. Um, if you decide to come back to Gainesville High School, um, we will work with you to integrate the same classes that you're taking through Virtual Virginia back into Gainesville High School. Um, so no, you don't have a schedule at Gainesville High School because your classes are being served through Virtual Virginia. But if you decide to come back, we will build you a schedule at Gainesville High School. These are good questions. And if we've got any more, please feel free to put them in the Q and A. Okay, again, reach out to your resources, your school counselor. You'll hear from your Gainesville High School mentor who will be supporting you through your virtual Virginia classes. Um, reach out for help if you need it. Um, otherwise, we wish you the best of luck and um, in this school year. And we're excited to get to work with you, even if it's in this capacity, uh, through this virtual capacity, we are excited to work with you and your family. So thank you so much for your time and we are going to end our webinar now.